Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate broadcast messages on Instagram using Socinator. This allows you to easily send messages to targeted users at the same time. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities, which can be automated in Instagram through Socinator. Let's go to the Broadcast Messages tab because we want to send messages to Instagram users. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to send messages to a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. You can target users according to your needs and send messages according to your preferences. There are several configuration categories for broadcast messages. Let's begin with the first configuration category, which is the search query. As the name suggests, search query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to message. There are two important sections in the search query, query type and query. Query type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the query type through the drop down menu. It is subcategorized into several different types. Keywords, where you can enter your search term as query, suggested users of your selected accounts, hashtag users, defined users who used your hashtags, someone's followers, defined followers who follow the username you enter. Someone's followings to find users who have been followed by the username you enter. Followers of someone's followers to find followers of followers of the profile you enter. Followers of someone's followings to find followers of followings of the profile you enter. Location users to find users who tagged a specific location in their posts. Custom users list where you can search through specific profile link or username. Users who like posts to search users who liked a specific post. You need to enter the post URL here. Users who commented on posts to search users who commented on a specific post. You also need to enter the post URL here. Next is scrape the users who messaged us to search users who have messaged this account. Own followers to message your own followers and own followings to message the people you have been following. Once you have selected your query type, enter the query either manually over here or upload through CSV or text format using this button. When you're done, click the Add button. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. Let's start with keywords. For this one, let's input foodies and click Add. Software will use this query to search related profiles. Instagram mostly returns profiles which are having this text in usernames or profile names. One important thing is that search results for keywords are very low on Instagram, so you won't be able to find a lot of users. So only use it when you are looking for highly targeted profiles. For suggested users, let's input the rock and click add. The app will search and message suggested users of the rock. For hashtag users, let's input hashtag dogs, click add. So users who use this hashtag will be messaged. For someone's followers, let's input the rock and click add. The app will target the rock's followers this time and message them. For someone's followings, still with a rock, click add. So this time the app will target the users the rock is following instead. For followers of someone's followers, let's input the rock, click add. The app will find followers of the rock's followers and message them. Next is followers of someone's followings, still with a rock. So this time, the app will search and target the followers of the users The Rock is following. For location users, let's try to search 
Mm, Tokyo Disneyland. Click the location and copy the location URL over here. So the whole link or you may only copy the location ID or this number over here. Let's copy and paste it here in the query box and click add. So users who posted using this location will be searched and messaged. For custom users list, you can search through specific profile links or usernames. So you may type the rock over here, or you may also copy to the profile URL, the whole link, and paste it in the query box. Click add. The next one is users who like posts. So this will require you to have a specific Instagram post. Let's try this one. Open a new tab and copy the post URL here. Copy it and paste it in the query box and add. So users who liked this specific post will then be targeted and messaged. The next one is similar users who commented on posts so let's use the same post paste the url and add so users who commented on this post will then be searched and messaged so the next one is scrape the user who messaged us so this will target all the users who have messaged your account own followers will target your own followers and own followings will message the people you have been following. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button over here at the right side of the query you want to remove. So there you go. If you want to import multiple queries from CSV and text file, Click the import from CSV or text file button over here and select the necessary file and click open. The next configuration category is manage messages. So here you can create or manage your messages. Let's say hi. You can also narrow down the users you want to send this message to according to the queries you have set earlier. So maybe you just want to choose the rocks followers and followings. And when you're ready, add message to the list. And it's here. Action button will allow you to manage it, edit it, or delete it. So let's say hello. You may clear using this button. You may also import from CSV or text file using this one. Let's try it. So after clicking the button, you need to select the necessary file and then click open. The file was successfully uploaded. Hi, how are you? Choose the query. Let's say users who used hashtag dogs and add message to the list. You may also upload a photo. So click it, choose the right file and click open and then add message to the list. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should message the users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow for an average daily activities of 16, medium for 41, fast for 66, or super fast for 83. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. So delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Instagram user is messaged. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after messaging the number of users you set in number of messages per job. Number of messages per job will allow you to specify the number of Instagram users you want to message per job or per cycle. 
You may also specify the number of users you message per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max messages per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep messaging users even if you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, let's say Monday, provide a start and end time, 12 a.m. to, let's say, 1.59 p.m. and click Add Interval and it's automatically added. Let's add another one. Let's say 2 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. and click Add Interval. So as you can see, you can have multiple time frames in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's name it Broadcast Messages and click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and click Broadcast Messages. The next tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to message on Instagram. For example, the user we want to message should have a profile picture. So let's check the box. The user should have a minimum of 10 posts and a maximum of 20 posts. Minimum characters in bio should be 5. You can also set the minimum and maximum of the user's followings and followers. Let's say you don't want to message users who are into politics. You can click must not contain specific words and type politics, uh, government, president. You may edit or delete using the clear all button over here and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Let's try it. Must not have. Okay, so select the right file, click open, and it's uploaded successfully. When you're set, click save. Users with these texts in their profile will be ignored and not messaged by Socinator. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. So if you want to message users who are into, let's say, pets, click must have at least one post with a caption containing specific words, and then type uh, pets, cats, dogs, and you may also edit or delete using clear all button. You may also import and let's select pets and it will be uploaded successfully. Click save when you're done. So users with these keywords will be searched and messaged by Socinator. Next, we have follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input a follow ratio less than or greater than a specific number. You can also provide a follow ratio in a specific range between two numbers. If you want to message an active user, you can click should have posted in the last yeah, 10 days. Filter by gender allows you to ignore specific users according to their gender. So if you don't want to message male users, click Ignore Males. Skip non-English users will not message users with non-English text in their profile. This will make it easier for you to target English-speaking people around the world. But be careful in using too much user filters. They are not perfect and using a lot at the same time is therefore not encouraged. You can also ignore private users, business profiles, and verified accounts. The last configuration category is Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the Instagram profiles you do not want the software to interact with. In this case, users you don't want to message. So if you check Skip Blacklisted Users, they will not be messaged. So this can be a private blacklist, which is actually a blacklist that belongs to a specific Instagram account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you are satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start messaging users, let's scroll up and click the save button. 
And after that, click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating broadcast messages on Instagram using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app over here, click the social drop down button, and select Instagram. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to Instachat and make sure broadcast messages is selected in the left side of the app because we want to send messages to Instagram users. So here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Instagram broadcast messages. Under the search query, maybe we want to target hashtag users of hashtag dogs and add. Then maybe we can say cute in relation to the dogs. Choose hashtag dogs over here and add message to the list. For job configuration, an average daily activity of 16 should be okay. So let's select slow. For user filters, the user should have a profile picture. And let's skip non-English users, ignore verified accounts. For other configurations, you have the option to skip user who already received a message. So this is useful if you don't want to keep sending the same message to the same user. So there's a delay between each message, so we can say one to five minutes. For manage blacklisted users, you can skip blacklisted users so you won't message them. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. So in this part, you can select multiple accounts, but we only have one account right now, so let's go with that by checking this box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. Since this account already has configuration settings, uh, saving these new settings will override the previous settings. So if, let's check the box and click save if you want to proceed. And after saving, it will automatically take us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Instagram broadcast messages campaign. So the action button here allows you to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. You may also click the status button to pause the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.